I'm Doug Wars, I'm the Dean of Students at the Scranton School for Deaf and Hard of Hearing Children. I'm also the Esports Director for the WPSD slash Comets Hybrid Esports Program. So this is one of the biggest tournaments that we've hosted here with Garden State Esports. Um, there's so many moving parts to it. The preparation that was done in advance has really helped things to go for the most part smoothly. There's always going to be some hiccups and bumps along the way, but that's one of the great things about live events. It's an opportunity for students to work on their troubleshooting skills, how to remain calm in a high pressure, high stakes situation. Uh, I'm Mike Johnson. I'm the director of competition for Garden State Esports, uh, but I am also in my day job the network administrator for West Essex Regional School District. Part of the thing that we're changing as we go forward with our championship events is we're turning them into workforce development opportunities for all the students in our league. So it takes two days to set up an event as large as this. Uh, and what we did is we invited schools to take field trips and help us set up and learn what goes into the day-to-day -day setup process of a 1,500 person LAN event. It was by far just a fun experience. This is my first time because I am a freshman, but it's really fun and I got to talk to all these people. Setting up for the Winter Finals tournament was pretty easy. Um, all I had to do was follow instructions. It was really simple, but it was fun to work together with my classmates to accomplish a, a task. Calchon. I'm a senior project manager at Spellcaster Productions out of Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, winter finals have been a lot of fun. We've been working with the students a lot here, both at Georgian Court and uh, surrounding high school students. Uh, they've been really helpful in setting up all the computers you see behind me, as, long as, the, as well as the production that we have screens, projectors, lighting, live streaming. Uh, and it's honestly been a blast. It's our second time working with uh, Garden State Esports and looking forward to it both this time and in the future. Hi, I'm Corey Wacker, sound engineer here at eSports, doing the live audio. I am from Chesterfield, New Jersey. I've been doing this for going on 44 years now, I think it is. We have four zones set up to where we can isolate each individual stage and each individual game so that each section can be streamed out separately. Hi, I'm Alyssa Miller. I am a Middletown Township teacher as well as a GSE leadership team member. My greatest example of an awesome story of an esports student is my ham polo. I met him as a freshman at Middletown South. He became the official GSE intern for shoutcasting. Started never having done this before for the Middletown South esports team. Just did our own in-house team till he got noticed by GSE. Then his whole little shoutcasting career blew up like you wouldn't believe. He went from being our team shoutcaster to the voice and the mouth for all of GSE Smash and is now in college doing the same thing for Brookdale and looking at what careers that this awesome opportunity is leading him to. So I've been a part of the eSports program since it's been growing, I'd say freshman year. I started off just going because of my Chinese teacher and then I eventually led up to a management level for our group. So I just kind of overview everything. I'll come to events like helping set up for the GSE. We helped in the fall and we're back again. So I'm glad to be a part of it. It's an overall good experience and I appreciate that we were invited to such because it gives everybody like that work opportunity. Almost, I feel like almost like an internship as much. And I think it can open open up a lot of students' eyes, seeing that there is more than just college as a path and you can like just hop straight here. I know, I'm sure Chris has talked about his own background there, but his story actually inspired me in a way. My name is Zarina Borsma. I'm from Abington Heights, which is also the WPSD Comets program. We set up for GSE each year and we love it. It is so amazing. There is no experience like it. It is truly amazing to be able to work with professionals who do this for a living and 
learn from them. I mean, there's no other space that you can just have this mutual learning from them. And it is so amazing to be able to have that so young and before my career has even started. All right, so my name's Tyler Gardner. I'm the coach and advisor of eSports at Egg Harbor Township High School. Garden State eSports, I, I can't speak highly enough um, about them, the events that they put on. Uh, first and foremost, we've been in so many other eSports leagues and none of them have made my students feel like rock stars as much as GSE has. Um, like, it, it doesn't get much more legit than this. Like, it, it really lends a lot of credibility to eSports at not only the high school level, but the middle school level as well. This is incredible experience for students to not only get out here, be in this kind of competitive environment, but also for them to get a taste of like what the next level is gonna be like if they choose to go to college and do this as well. Um, so our experience with GSE has just been top notch. I mean, I, I can't say, uh, I can't speak any more highly of it. <laughs>
And it, to me, it feels so good to be able to answer any questions that they have, teach them anything they want to know, and go from there. It's so cool that I get to be able to have this experience now. When I started doing GSC, I really wanted to do something in the psychology field and now that has completely shifted and I want to go into something in production and media and I would love to even teach it. And so it is so cool that I've had this opportunity and been able to see like what I want to do and how that has affected my career. It's been just amazing. So I talk with my students a lot about career pathways in eSports. I'm actually a CTE teacher. I teach media. Um, so that's a lot of what we talk about, even just back at our arena at the high school. Um, the whole production side of eSports, like it, it takes a village to put this whole thing on. They have an incredible area over there where they're actually producing this event. They're producing the live stream. They have students here who are shout casting. There's so many different pathways for esports, not only just in the production field, but event organizing as well. I mean, this took a, a lot of people, um, a lot of time to plan this out. They adjusted the feedback even from the fall event to make this one so much better than the last. Um, th there's so many different pathways and, and options for students. But even just coming off of our match against Apsagami, one of my students was approached by a college recruiter right as they walked off. So we had lost the game and then he kind of gets swept into the wings of a recruiter, even just talking about college options and what the next step could possibly look like for them. Um, and I, I just don't know where else that's happening for eSports in New Jersey. Uh, I, I guess right here. <laughs> My name is Dina Baumer and I coach at Matawan Aberdeen Regional School District. I'm primarily the middle school coach, but I am a head coach. Students who get to work with GSC have so many more opportunities in these up and coming technology fields. Today I had two high schoolers from my program working very closely with Bo. Not only do they want to cast with Bo, one of them is going to follow in his footsteps and wants to become a computer programmer. So not only is Bo inspiring them on camera, but he's inspiring them into technology careers off camera. If you're a commentator, cool, you get to talk about the video games for fun. But if you're a software engineer, if you're here to uh, manage sales or give like a presentation, be it either in college, at work, or in uh, school still, you have all these opportunities to learn how to give a better presentation regardless if you keep commentating with us or not. So it really does just give you all of these different ways to just be better in ways you might not even expect. Here at the 2025 Winter Championships, Garden State Esports, GSC, Garden State Esports Org, live here at Georgia Court University. Thousands of kids, miles of wire. I can't even tell you how many hours it took to set this up. An amazing team at Garden State Esports. Volunteers from across the entire state. Chris and his team are doing an amazing job. Turn to your right and check it all out, everybody.